Hello and welcome to my channel. So today um, I'm doing a competition between four tire shines to see which one is the best. Uh, and by best, I mean uh, which one has the most longevity, the nice, uh, best protection, nicest looking as well. Um, so these are the four um, products that we'll be using. Um, I did steal this concept from a, another YouTube channel, another Australian YouTube channel called Evolve Details. Um, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description um, to check him out. But basically, uh, yeah, what, what I'm doing is applying one of these products onto each wheel of the car. Um, this car is used as a daily, um, so we'll see after you know, maybe about four weeks, um, see which one um, is the best and lasts the longest um, and also gives off the best protection. So um, this is just obviously the application stage. Uh, this is the Bowden's own, um, the Bowden's own sweet rubber. So I'm just applying that. Now, as you can see, I've taped off a section uh, where the air valve is. Um, and that is going, that's going to be our, um, I guess our stock section. So that I'm not applying any, um, any product onto that section. Um, that way we can see when, when it is, I guess the same color um, and you know, and the, the, the same amount of protection. We know um, that the, um, uh, that the, the tire shine has come off. So um, doing that to every, um, every wheel. Uh, this one is the Merch Super Tire Shine. I didn't actually realize this when I was doing it. Uh, upon editing, I've realized that they're all actually Australian companies, um, which, I mean, I didn't intend for that to happen, but I'm not not upset about it either. I do, I am Australian. I do like to, to buy local and support local. So um, yeah, uh, I guess uh, the, 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 this is the battle of the Australian brands then. So uh, Merch Super Tire Shine is this one. Uh, now I'm moving over to NV Onyx. Um, this is the one that I I use for my car. It's my favorite, I just, in terms of looks, it's my favorite. I'm not too sure about the protection and everything like that that it gives, um, but I do prefer, I guess, a, uh, a more matte look on my tires than a, uh, than a nice, uh, the, the, than a glossy, glossy finish so um, just applying just applying that one there so we're gonna see I guess as well um, we're gonna have a look at all all four of the tires and see which one um, you know you'll like because they all give off different looks um, and everything like that um, I'm gonna run through I'll do a different separate video in a couple of weeks time and run through some results um, this is uh, I'll, I'll give a week one update uh, on this video uh, and the apply on this video, uh, but then I'll give a, a, I guess a three week update um, in a couple of weeks time. So uh, this is the this is the Bowden's Sweet Rubber. So let's have a look at this. So uh, that's the bottle there. Um, again, in the results video, I'll run through how much it costs and how much it's worth uh, per mil. Um, so as you can see the finish there, it's actually quite a nice finish. I don't use this too much, um, but it does really bring out bring out the, the, the tire. So if we see, I'll take the tape off here. You can see a big difference between the control area and the um, and where it's been applied. Um, I actually don't don't mind the look of it. it it's nice and clean. It's not too glossy. Um, it is a bit more glossy than the NV that I use. Um, but it's not too glossy uh, where it's uh, completely in your face. So it's a nice clean look actually. I don't mind that. Um, and you can see the big difference between that and the control area there. Um, so you're definitely going to notice that it's been applied. Now, this one is the most glossiest. Um, it is the Merch uh, Super Tire Shine. Um, they do have other products that's not as glossy, but um, this is the one that I've opted for. Uh, to represent merch, I should say. Um, also, the other thing is, I didn't actually record myself applying the Motor Tech, um, so you may have missed that um, in, in previously, but everywhere else we'll, we'll see it. So um, I'm hoping the Motor Tech doesn't win because it is a $8 bottle of Tire Shine, and uh, if that wins, I might as well delete my uh, product review channel uh, because. Uh, I do like the, uh, the high-end detailing products. So um, just removing the tape here. And as we can see, again, a distinct line um, between the, the control area and where it's been applied. Again, super, super glossy, um, super shiny there. So we move over to the other side of the car. 
uh, and we've got the NV Onyx. Again, uh, my favorite looking uh, tire shine. Um, it is a, a, a more matte finish than the, the, than the glossier one. So as we can see here, just having a look, Okay, so we can see it's a little bit more matte there. Um, it's not as shiny, not as in your face as I guess the, uh, the uh, uh, well, definitely not more than the merge, um, but the uh, balance as well. Uh, we take the tape off and again, we can see a very, very distinct line there. Um, so these all look really good upon application. Um, it's just a matter of obviously how long they're going to last. So that is the uh, NV Onyx there. All right, so now over to the Motor Tech. Um, this is the only, I guess, uh, spray on from the bottle. Um, not uh, not the, the, sorry, the Bowden Zone and the Merch were trigger sprays, um, and then the NV Onyx was a cream. So this is the only just spray, spray on. Spray on and then microfiber. Um, so again, it's not a bad, to be honest with you, it's not a bad looking uh, tire shine. It's very uh, bog standard of the um, of the sprays. So we're going to take the top, uh, the tape off. Sorry, not the top. Um, and again, uh, a distinct line there. And take this side off. All right, and again, another distinct line. Okay, so we can really see a difference between uh, the control area and the and the uh, applied area big difference you can tell you can tell there so well i guess all four of them you can you can really tell a big difference so this is uh one week later so this is one week of usage on the on the on the car and again it is a daily so it has been driven every day um so having a look at the bowden's own so we can see so this is the valve area so where the valve is that's your control and you can still see quite distinct lines on the Bowden Zone. It has faded a bit. Um, it's a little bit of dirt on the left-hand side there. Um, but there is still that distinct line for the control area. So it's it's holding up quite well, uh, the, the Bowden Zone. Uh, other than the dirt on the left-hand side, it's still looking pretty clean. So let's check the hydrophobic properties on this. And as we can see, Look at the difference between the control area and the and where it's been applied. So it's the hydrophobics are still quite good on this one. You can tell. Look at it; just repels water like there's no tomorrow, and then uh, the control area absorbs it. Um, so you can really see you can really see where it's been applied and where it hasn't been applied. And you know, I'm still happy with that after after one week. All right, over to the Merch Super Tire Shine. So again, just having a look at the, the tire. All right, so that's still looking, that probably looks, I actually think it's the best looking one out of the four still, um, in terms of how well it's going. Um, you can still see a distinct line on the control area, which is good. But yeah, in terms of the way that the look has held up, I think, and, and durability, this has held up quite well uh, in terms of just looking looking at the, um, the tire shine. So again, you can still see it, it's quite clean. Um, and how does it repel water? So again, repelling very well. Unfortunately, on this side, the cap is at the bottom, so you can't tell too much, but you can still see that the protection is doing a lot more than the control area. Look at the way it just comes off so quickly. Well, I'm very impressed by the merch. You can see just to the amount of water that's that's stuck on that wheel in, in the control area versus uh, the non-control area. Where it's been applied, it just it just comes off like it's not like it's nothing. So um, yeah, holding up quite well after one week. 
over to the NV Onyx now. So again, uh, my favorite. I'm hoping that, I'm actually hoping this wins. A bit of, bit of favoritism on my behalf, but I am hoping this wins because I've been using it for such a long time and I do love it. Um, and again, not as shiny um, as the other two. Uh, where's, there's a bit of dirt there on the bottom. Um, so it has gotten a bit dirty over the week, um, but still, still holding up nice, still looking quite well. And is there a line on the control area? Yes, there is. Not as, not as profound as the other, the other two, um, but there, uh, there is still the, that line there. Um, mm, so interesting. Maybe it doesn't, it doesn't last as long as, uh, as, as, as what, what else is on the market. So just going to test the hydrophobics of it. <laughs> Look at the water. <laughs> there is no water sticking to that. So again, unfortunately, the uh, control area is at the bottom. Look at the difference between the control area and um, the applied area. So again, bit of favoritism on my end. Um, I, do, I do like this product. I've been using it for years. Um, and the, hyd and the hydrophobics of it's really, really good. So, very happy with how it's going so far. You can see the water just, it just goes straight off. Just goes straight off. All right, and last, but hopefully least, <laughs> is the Mototech tire shine. I kind of do hope, um, uh, do hope this doesn't win, but I also kind of hope it does, you know, because it is only an $8 bottle um, comparison to a lot of these tire shines, about $25. Um, so it'd be nice to be able to save some money here and there, but again, um, you know, it goes, it goes against what this channel is for <laughs> in terms of um, choosing, choosing the cheap product over the expensive, usually expensive product is better. So you can still see a distinct line there holding up really well. The control area, the, the line is very distinct there. So um, you can see it's holding up really, really well. There's still that color difference between the applied area and the control area. Um, you can clearly see just after the end is where, um, is, where the, is where it stops. So let's have a look at the hydrophobics of it. Okay, so it's still holding so, uh, strong. Let's see around the control area, how it goes. Well, in comparison to the control area, I should say. Yeah, still, gi still giving a lot of protection there. Still giving a lot of protection. You can see it. I mean, obviously gravity does its thing because uh, the control area is up the top. Um, but you can see as soon as I wet it, um, on the applied area, it reacts real quick and uh, on the control area, it doesn't. So I think I'll do uh, another two videos on this. So one will be in two weeks time, uh, just an update where they should almost be failing. Um, and then uh, one more, which gives uh, results for different categories. So uh, for example, longevity, look, all that uh, price, all that kind of stuff. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you wanna keep up to date, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching.